Karen Huger and Gazelle Bryant from The Real Housewives of Potomac have, to put it lightly, a dysfunctional friendship, but there are some signs that this could change. All through the show, fans have watched the two constantly taking jabs at each other. Sometimes, this is funny and silly. At other times, it cuts a bit deeper. However, there have always been clues that they could build a potentially strong friendship. In The Real Housewives of Potomac Season 1, Karen mentioned in a confessional that she felt a certain responsibility with Gazelle, saying, if she doesn't know any better, to teach her better. So, from the get-go, it seemed like there was an existing dynamic that Karen appreciated more than Gazelle did. The two women have also known each other for a longer period of time than most of the other cast members, so there's plenty of history there. Also, they have both said they were closer before ROP began, so the show could be to blame for how things have turned out. As much as there has been constant tension and little blow-ups between Karen and Gazelle, there have been signs of the strong foundation that brought the two together in the first place. Fans like watching them fight because the arguments are often so petty. However, just as enjoyable to witness are the rare moments when glimmers of hope appear. The mime at drinks in season 3, Karen and Gazelle came together over drinks to discuss recent dramas between them, and things got heated. As Karen began to present her side of the argument, a mime appeared, sent by Monique Samuels to deliver an invitation for the women to go to Con France. Although the purpose of this meeting was to hash out a dispute, viewers could see that the mime triggered a brief moment where Karen and Gazelle were able to bond over a bizarre situation. Gazelle even burst out laughing, despite the serious tone of the discussion. Teaching Karen a lesson at the back of a van in season 6, while returning from a dinner, Ashley Darby and Gazelle taught Karen a lesson about some intimate language. Fans love to see this rare moment, since Karen was relaxed and enjoying herself alongside Gazelle. Hilarity ensued as Ashley and Gazelle tried to get Karen to fill in the blanks when describing to her what tea bagging was. Gazelle cries at the reunion after a relatively drama-free season between Gazelle and Karen, it was clear that by the season 6 reunion, the two of them had witnessed the potential of their friendship. When Andy brought up how fun it had been to watch them getting along, Gazelle began to get emotional. She described how respectfully Karen had treated her children when she came to her house. In turn, this made Karen emotional, and it was perhaps the biggest glimmer of hope for the pair so far. Viewers are intrigued to see if this positive energy has lasted and will carry on into the upcoming The Real Housewives of Potomac season.